Now, Donald Trump has uh, finally unified the country in pursuit of one goal. To find out what the fuck Kavfefe is. The trouble began, of course, on Twitter, as it always does. While I, on, and, and many, of course, on the East Coast, were turning in for the night, our president, our commander-in-chief, was still hard at work communicating with the nation or attempting to communicate to the nation. Now, he tweeted at 12.06 a.m., Despite the constant negative press, Kavfefe. C-O-V-F-E-F-E. What the fuck is that word? What was he trying to say? What message was he attempting to send? Nobody actually really knows. All you can do is guess. All we know is that Donald Trump, he has the best words. He uses the best words, even if they're not actually really words. Now that tweet... Now, normally when you mess something up so horrifically, you would delete your tweet and start over. No, that didn't happen. Instead, five minutes, ten minutes, an hour, six hours, that was up. Now, one could only have assumed that something had happened to him within that span of time. Maybe some aides had tackled him and were successful at getting his phone away from him. Maybe, or if he had a medical issue, some speculated that as well. Or maybe Kathy Griffin got to him. I don't know. We, don't, we didn't know what was happening. Until later on, of course. And of course, maybe uh, it was just an autocorrect error. Autocorrect maybe just like gave up. Yeah, fuck that shit. I'm not going to deal with this guy anymore. <laughs> no. And another thing is the New York Times reported that nobody at the White House could be reached for comment last night and that of course made twitter go crazy with speculation uh with uh diane 70 tweeting of course kavfefe is a real word it was coined during the bowling green massacre emily nussbaum says it's been five minutes what if this is it that this is his final tweet and the rest of history stops we could only be so lucky emily some even turned towards the one entity that might actually uh, offer a clue for this brave new word help miriam webster pleaded Jessica Taylor, a reporter at NPR. Here's how uh, Miriam Webster responded on Twitter. Wakes up, check twi checks Twitter, uh, regrets checking Twitter, goes back to bed. <laughs> Six hours later, the tweet finally gone. Finally was deleted. But wait, he's not done with this. In typical Trumpian fashion, at 6 a.m., he tweets this out. Who can figure out the true meaning of Kavfefe? Enjoy. <laughs> hey, man, to be fair, a lot of people are trying. In fact, uh, I actually like Urban Dictionary. I think they actually have the best meaning. They said, when you want to say coverage, but your hands are just too small to hit all the letters of your keyboard. Nailed it. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.